Welcome back to the garage. I'm Rob and today we're gonna be doing some timing. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your timing belt. I went with the gates. It's just it's a good bet, safe bet, good belt. I wouldn't recommend any cheap belts off eBay or anything. You don't you don't want these breaking. It's gonna cause you some some bad times with your uh, your valves and stuff. A couple tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need like a stretch belt remover tool. I think this is by gates as well. Uh, this is for to get the alternator belt off. I'll try to link whatever I can link down in the description so you guys can find it. You will need this harmonic balancer puller, I believe, is to get the, uh, just to get this off, just to get this uh, pulley off, balancer, whatever. I think it's called a harmonic balancer. I can't remember, but it's to get to pull this off because that's going to be on there pretty good. So you'll need this tool. You'll need a torque wrench. Uh, I know a lot of us don't torque things down, but uh, that we probably should, but if it moves, it rotates, it should be torqued. And then you need some cam locks. You can make them, you can rent them, you can buy them, but you're gonna need some cam gear locks, just, just what you need. And then a breaker bar. Uh, impact will be best, but it's pretty late here, so I don't wanna be making a lot of noise. 19 socket. 15 socket, the wrench, and a crowbar to hold the uh, pulley when you undo it. So in order to do this, what, you, what we want to do is you come in here, is we're going to take these three bolts off to get this motor mount off, bracket off, we're going to take this belt off, and then we'll take this bolt out and use our tool to pull this off. So once we do all that, We'll resume and go from there. Now that we have all that off on the engine, what you want to do is, is you see this triangle, can you get in there? And you want to match it up with that triangle, can you see it? Mm -hmm. And that means your top dead center. And then there's two notches on the cam gears as well, you want to make sure those are matched. We already put the cam locks on them so they don't move, but there's two notches on there. So what we, now what we want to do is we want to take off the hydraulic tensioner and this is one of the main reasons why we're changing this because we're going to be replacing the hydraulic tensioner for a mechanical tensioner. And the reason why we want to do this is, is because under boost, this can leak and squeak and cause your belt to fail and we don't want that. So we'll, this is pretty cheap, we'll do this. And real quick, because it'll probably be hard to uh, show you guys, you put a wrench in here, loosen this a little bit, and when it's on, and you uh, adjust the tension by tightening it, and this will move this piece right here moving. And how you want is you want it all the way where this wire is like in the middle of it and you tighten your bolt down and then you'll be good to go. So that just bolts right in here and it replaces this. So we'll get uh, these off, take the belt off, get this bolted on and I'll get it tightened up and then we'll come back to you guys. This is also a good time to change your water pump and any other pulleys you guys have. We're not gonna do that because I know when mine were replaced, but if you don't know when yours replaced, a good time. The, the reason we're doing it is for the mechanical tensioner. And if you look here on this belt, I actually, uh, I ripped it by accident, but that was my mistake when I was taking the clutch off because I put too much tension on the belt when I was trying to hold this off from moving to get the clutch off. So that's the two main reasons why we're replacing it. But if you need to replace everything else, it's a safe bet to do it now, especially if your engine's out of the car. So let's uh, go and do a time lapse here and get her done. guys it's been a couple days since that last clip so we'll go over some things that happened and what you need to know to get the time belt done right first of all when I was editing the video I noticed I didn't show a good job of where this needs to be when you're tightening it for your attention so if you could see how this piece is in the middle of this right there that's where you want it and you want to torque this down to 22 foot-pound torque with this mechanical tensioner, guys, also, uh, we had to buy a new one. This one broke. There's a piece back here. You're not going to see it. But when I was tightening it, 
it broke, so I didn't want to risk it. So we bought a new one. The new one is the one I will link down below. Uh, it came with a whole kit. It came with a water pump, gaskets, timing belt, and all that. I can't find them individually with just the tensioners for some reason, so they just all have kits. Whether you choose to use those components in those kits is up to you. Uh, but the one I will link down below of this tensioner that I actually put on there will work just fine. A couple of things you know is this bracket I had to take off. This bracket holds your plastic uh, covering for your timing belt and all that. I unfortunately don't have one, kind of sucks, but I just don't. So uh, I would imagine this would hold the plastic in place once you replace the bracket. Now, let me just pick you guys up. This bolt right here, which is originally this bolt, I had to replace. I went and bought a new one, which I ended up putting down here. Uh, so I took this bolt that was here, put it here, and put the new one here. For whatever reason, it, they're all the same flare push, but this just seemed to go in easier here, maybe because it goes directly into the block and not through the uh, tensioner. I'm not sure, but the size of that bolt. Now, and then these get torqued down, all three of these two 30 foot pounds torque. I'm, I'm sorry I don't have the torque spec for um, this. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I tighten mine pretty good. Um, but the way you put this on, you put a little grease on the part it goes on, you get a little socket and just hammer it back on. Put your belt back on with that nice uh, stretch belt remover and installer tool. It has an install and a, and a remover side. You'll see it if you buy one, I'll link that below if I can. Now the biggest thing with this is you need to put lock washers in between your block and the tensioner right in the back on both these lower bolts uh, or else your, uh, your belt will just walk off. So I believe I used M8 lock washers. Um, so if you do it and your belt's walking off, your washers aren't big enough, but if it starts to walk the opposite way towards your valve cover, your lock washers are too big. But I believe I used M8. Uh, another thing is don't tighten these all the way down. What I did is I put these bolts through without this plate, tighten them down, then I torqued these down to spec so that everything was lined up. Make sure you do that. Make sure you test this for that walking because I, I guess that's a known problem. Shout out to the Facebook group for the guys helping me do that because I could not figure that out. I did not know that that was a problem with these uh, mechanical tensioners. Also, someone said you may have to trim some of your uh, plastic in there. Um, I, I don't know guys, I can't help you with that one because I don't have any plastic. Unfortunately, that kind of sucks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share it around. That helps a lot. Hopefully this helps anyone. Uh, really appreciate it. As always, stay positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one.